Welcome to this 5 steps video tutorial on Early Burly application. Step 1. Installation. To install the application, go to your email account and open the message with the subject Early Burly install. Clicking on the install button will open a web page on your default web browser. First, click on the top button to install a certificate that will grant you access to use the app. Accept the certificate and go back to your web browser. Here, and pay close attention to this step, click only on the install button for the version which has your name inside round brackets. Voila, your app is installed. Step 2. Using the application. To start, click on the app icon. If your device is connected to the internet, your friends are immediately displayed on the left side of your screen, with their names inside grey boxes. If no internet connection is available, only your name is displayed, always on the top left of the screen, inside a green box. A large white circle with the word Analyzing shows up every 3 minutes, meaning that the app is analyzing your sound environment and your movement. The result of the analysis is expressed as a sound wave next to your name, which is higher or smaller depending on the sound intensity, and has different shapes depending on the kind of sounds as explained by the legend on the bottom of your screen. If you shake your device while the white circle is on the screen, two red triangles show up on both ends of your name, meaning that the sound was analyzed while the device was moving. Step 3. Foreground and Background Hurly Burly can be used in foreground and background mode. Every time the application is on your screen, that means it is in foreground mode. But if you need to use other apps at the same time, the application keeps working in background, which is signalized by a red bar on the top of the screen. However, some applications like the music player and YouTube will force Early Burly to stop. Then, when you finish using those applications, you have to reopen Early Burly by removing it from the multitasking bar and clicking on the icon again. To swap from background to foreground, simply click on the red bar on the top of the screen. Step 4. Online and Offline Users can either be online or offline. If you have an internet connection and the application is running in foreground, that means you are online and information regarding your sound environment is being shared with your friends in real time. If you don't have an internet connection or the app is running in background, that means you are offline and your friends are not receiving any information from you. Waveforms of online users are always displayed in different colors, while those from offline users are always white. Step 5. Shut down and remove. To shut down the application, double-click on the Home button and remove the app from the multitasking bar. After the test is complete, you may remove the application from the device by keeping your finger on the app icon and clicking on the X on the top left corner. Hurly Burly will need some extra energy to work continuously during the test period. It's a good idea to bring your power cord always with you. Thank you for watching and participating in this study. Hurly Burly, your friend's soundscapes.